नमस्कार मैं अशोक व्यास हूँ और मेरे साथ स्वामी विवेकानंद जी हैं और आज का विषय सेवा ही धर्म है इसको लेकर हम चर्चा करेंगे तो चर्चा करने के लिए जो अनुभवी हैं सेवा के क्षेत्र में भी जो धार्मिक संस्थानों के साथ भी नित्य जुड़े रहते हैं ऐसे हमारे मुकुंद मेहता जी का स्वागत है मुकुंद जी का प्रणाम नमस्ते अशोक जी और आपका जो व्यवसाय कह दीजिए आपने अपने जीवन में जिस विशेषज्ञता को लेकर कार्य किया है वो एक सीपीए के रूप में और अटर्नी के रूप में आपने सेवाएं दी है तो सेवा जो शब्द है ये बड़ा व्यापक है और अगर हम प्रारंभ करें आ, सेवा के साथ में सेल्फलेसनेस कहीं ना कहीं जुड़ी ही रहती है क्योंकि जो स्वार्थ के साथ होते हैं तो लगता है कि नहीं ये तो आ, हम इसलिए कर रहे हैं कि मुझे ये मिल जाए वो मिल जाए तो आप बताइए जो सेवा के साथ में एक निस्वार्थता का भाव है आ, आपको लगता है ये इसका आवश्यक अंग है आ, सेवा की शुद्धि की दृष्टि से ऑफकोर्स सेवा शुड बी समथिंग दैट हैज uh do you do not expect anything in return uh it should be selfless and uh it is to be tried to see to how to benefit other people uh without showing your uh, any glory or anything uh most important thing in seva is uh, anonymity and uh, that is the best way to give something by tan man and dhan to somebody uh by tan you can give it uh, by your uh, helping out to somebody physically man by talking motivating listening or by dhan by dolat by money or resources but uh, it should be in such a way that it benefits the other person and uh, without showing that uh, you are something or you, you are you want to have your own uh, recognition uh, award honor or anything like that and if we cultivate that type of situation in our life it becomes our dharma dharma as such is just a, our innate and the everlasting nature of reality and the truthfulness our good social behavior our honesty and this kind of virtues make a person dharmic and if we cultivate that trend it may be any action or anything that will raise the psyche of yours to a higher level and you get satisfaction and a freedom contentment whatever you want to tell but uh, that will give a great great satisfaction to you to so, very profound words uh, mukund ji aapne apne anubhav se bataye yahan tak pahunchne ki jo yatra hai उसकी तरफ थोड़ा बात करते हैं यहाँ तक पहुंचने का मतलब है कि ये निष्कर्ष हमारे अंदर संस्कार के रूप में बैठ जाए वो विकास होता है परिवार से भी बाहर से भी हो सकता है बाद में भी और हम परिवार से प्रारंभ करते हैं तो जो सेवा शब्द है उसको लेकर अगर हम जाए कि आ, माता पिता जब बच्चे का लालन पालन करते हैं कितना ध्यान रखते हैं उसकी सेवा करते हैं पर अब सेवा है या प्रेम है आप उस आ, आ, वो जो एक आ, एक सहज होता है कि भाई बच्चे का ध्यान रखता है वो अच्छे से अच्छा आ, उसको सुविधाएं भी मिले वो अच्छा मनुष्य बने ये जो माता पिता का भाव है आप उसको सेवा के रूप में लेंगे या नहीं लेंगे ऑफ कोर्स जस्ट टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग व्हेन ह्यूमन बीइंग गेट्स कंसीव्ड इन द वूम ऑफ मदर एट दैट टाइम mother sacrifices a lot and uh, by giving up the comforts giving up uh, all the food and just concentrating on the nutritional food and uh, reading some good thing so that the child gets something out of it when the child is born so mother is sacrificing is a lot is a type of a seva and uh, once the child is born and thereafter mother and father uh, at the same time the lady becomes a mother and the person becomes a father all are born at the same time uh, in different titles so uh, it is a seva and to bring up a child uh, it's a of course it is a prem also but uh, uh, it is a seva in what way it will be returned nobody knows but uh, i consider it is a great seva by the parents सो so, इसमें जो हमने पहले बात की एंड विच यू आल्सो रेफर जस्ट नाउ कि निस्वार्थ भाव हो 
तो अगर बहुत अधिक उपेक्षा लेके माता पिता बच्चे की तरफ देखते हैं तो उसमें बंधन अधिक हो जाता है यानी सेवा रहेगी तो मुक्ति रहेगी कहीं ना कहीं क्योंकि आप बहुत अधिक उससे यह चाहोगे कि वो ऐसा हो वैसा हो तो अलग बात है तो इस इस बात को लेके हम जो कृतज्ञता वाला एक दूसरा अंश होता है कि भाई उसने मेरे लिए इतना किया तो मेरे अंदर ये भाव हो वो भी कहीं ना कहीं आपको मुक्त करता है आप मैं ये ये शब्द लेकर फिर आपके पास आ रहा हूं अपने अनुभव से आपने जो जब आपका वो वाला समय था जिसे हम फॉर्मुलेटिव ईयर्स कहते हैं अंग्रेजी भाषा में जब आप सीखते हो कि मैं क्या हूं मेरा समाज के साथ रिश्ता क्या है उस समय कौन कौन सी बातें थी जिनका प्रभाव आपको लगता है कि आपकी समझ को एक स्वरूप देने में विशेष सहायक रहा हो या आपने अपने माता पिता से सुना सीखा कोई पुस्तकें रही हूँ कोई भी जो लोग आपको प्रभावी लगे उस ओके द चाइल्ड गेट्स द नॉलेज एंड बेनिफिट्स फ्रॉम द पेरेंट्स एंड सेकंड सोर्स इज द टीचर्स सो वंस दे इम्बाइब इन द चाइल्ड द नॉलेज द संस्कार एटीट्यूड फेथफुलनेस द चाइल्ड ग्रोज बट वॉट हैपन्स अशोक जी एज द चाइल्ड ग्रोज इज सराउंडेड बाय द एनवायरमेंट ऑफ पियर्स एनवायरमेंट and so many things so he is a uh, thinking about the parent uh, becomes sometimes subsidiary if the peer group is not the appropriate so uh, it is quite likely that uh, uh, the expectation that the child will uh, obey parents uh, uh, procedure or the vehvar uh, uh, it's a really becomes doubtful particularly in the current day and age no so i i that is one part of my uh, question the second part is in your own case individually who you feel helped you formulate uh, certain clarity about what you should become and yeah okay um, my parents uh, actually we were in a town a very small town in saurashtra up to 10 8 11 and then we came to bombay uh, and at 31 i came to the states but uh, i have seen that how my parents sacrifice for me and for my brothers and sisters so that environment it molds me into behaving in certain way to respect the parents to follow the order of the society and uh, to pay respect to the guru so uh, i um, thinking gets molded by that type of environment once i come here and naturally because it is ingrained into my system uh it is very difficult to change even though i am in america for for more than half a century so the same type of a respect uh, to guru ji and to elders remain to provide community service to the people to look after the children and uh, so on i think um ek hindi mein picture mein gana bhi aaya tha ki tum besahara ho to kisi ka sahara bano aur tumko apne aap hi sahara mil jayega to when we help somebody we also are helped and vivekananda somewhere refers to this that uh, things do not get better by making changes in them uh, you yourself uh, become better is tarah ki kuch baat unhone kahi thi yani acharya shankar ko lekar isko pakad ke aage jaye to wo kehte hain ye jo jo karm hai wo kisi vastu ki uplabdhi ke liye nahi balki apni man ki shuddhi ke liye hai to एक कहीं ना कहीं हमारे अंदर शुद्धि होने का मतलब हुआ कि आपको जहां होंगे उसमें आनंद अधिक आएगा ऐसा तो ये आनंद के भाव को लेते हुए मुकुंद जी हम जब धर्म को साथ लेकर सेवा की बात कर रहे हैं तो हम अपने पूरे वातावरण को देखते हैं आपका पेड़ों के साथ कैसा रिश्ता है उसमें भी कहीं ना कहीं एक ऐसा संस्कार आता है कि एक रेवरेंशियल भाव रहता है जैसे बहुत सारे पेड़ तो एकदम लिटरली पूजे जाते हैं बाकी नहीं भी पूजे जाते हैं तो भी आप पत्ती तोड़ते समय आपको याद होगा आप छोटे थे तो शाम के समय पेड़ की पत्ती नहीं तोड़ो फूल नहीं तोड़ो पेड़ों के साथ एक संवेदनशील व्यवहार करने का जो एक उसको भी हम कहीं ना कहीं धर्म से प्रवाहित हुआ हुआ देखते हैं ऐसा आप अपना अनुभव बताएं कि जो भारत की संस्कृति या धार्मिक दृष्टि से इस सेवा के या संवेदना के भाव को लेकर पर्यावरण के प्रति जो दृष्टिकोण रहता है व्यवहार रहता है उसके बारे में 
regarding this uh, climate you are referring to yes uh, yeah climate naturally uh, we just uh, respect all the plants just like uh, a a anyone else but what happens in reality is that uh, we just uh, take out the fruits take out the flowers because uh, it has become a norm and it is considered that a tree is uh, meant for that purpose we do not see that the mangoes or the apples and uh, the fruits should remain on the tree uh, it is meant to be given to the human being and that's why we just pluck it out and uh, consume it and uh, so far as the um, climate is concerned uh, it is uh, very necessary that uh, or we should plant more and more trees because there should be a green revolution uh, otherwise as we have seen that 2023 is the hottest year on the record and if that continues that uh, it gives rise to the floods and the uh, uh, heavy wind and fire and so on and so forth so everybody has to pitch in uh, to have some sort of a restriction or restraint on their part how to utilize these uh, uh, various facilities which will uh, emit less and less carbon so i, th I think uh, you are looking at it uh, as a big picture which is very important to understand and uh, how dharma helps us look at the cosmic uh, system as one and there is a sense of interrelatedness whether we are talking about plants or we are talking about uh, various species uh, that surround this planet and uh, how we uh, conduct ourselves in a compassionate and sensitive manner is probably the core uh, value that one gets from dharma uh, from that point of view uh, talk to me about the significance uh, when we see that cow is worshiped of course cow is one of the many but that also instills certain sanskaras in you that uh, you are not to act cruelly with any animal for that matter uh, what has been your observation and uh, experience i, I agree that uh, just like the two other human beings and to the plants and to all the beings in the world including all animals uh, they should be uh, treated as if they have a full right to live and anything uh, which goes contrary to the is, is not uh, our dharma uh, dharma uh, means that uh, you develop uh, such a way that all are equal creation of god and uh, we should not misuse them but uh, so what happens is that uh, plants don't speak animals don't speak so uh, it is being taken advantage of it and uh, as far as uh, one own has to develop the attitude to have sympathy to towards all beings but in real life it is very very difficult because if you see the cow we re, re, we worship but in the western country it's a part of their food so uh, how to uh, explain to these western people it's impossible because it is a necessity for them in some cases uh, some certain countries they rely on the animal foods and uh, ashok ji as you may be knowing that in america a uh, substantial part of land is used to cultivate the corn and such other products to feed the animals so that animals can grow and uh, they can be used as a food so how to stop it it is impossible to stop it even though we may think it is not right so let me bring another dimension here to our conversation which is to uh, to appreciate others point of view also so you are not encouraged to impose everything on others but at least uh, that is helping you in leading a life uh, which um, we, we, which uh, is conducive for you to realize uh, your fullness and when i say fullness uh, when you do something good you feel good uh, again in the context of what i earlier asked you about the climate and all it is the collective behavior of everyone which is reflected because there is a sense of interdependence yet you bring a very practical point and i think that is not uh, exclusive for america or western countries it is in india also because everyone is not coming with the same sort of a mindset so people are different now 
this brings me to another uh, side which is relevant related to dharma and seva to maintain peace and harmony is is also a part of our dharma which helps in growing and uh, enjoying life uh, creating the kind of uh, environment which is good uh, keeping that uh, at, at the back of your mind how you feel dharma helps in resolving conflicts or situation where you are in disagreement with people how you uh, feel uh, that should be approached okay <clears throat> uh, sometimes it becomes one sided uh, even though i try to be dharmic for example honest truthfulness integrity high integrity and just like to give the e- extreme example of a perfect man like lord rama uh, he, he was a symbol of a love and devotion and a person who depicts a uh, high morality and observes the social order now it becomes one sided but uh, another side is that the other person may not be of the same character so the conflict is always going to be and that we have seen for ages the right from the ancient time up to now what we have been seeing conflict is because of the difference of opinion and that uh, creates a big mess to the civilians no um what we do uh, results into not just our experience but also uh, experience of the next generation so it becomes our duty to find the perfect or near perfect balance as our collective wisdom leads us to find uh, keeping that in mind we go one step which is whatever you can do you do and yes. uh, and and then uh you will not stop yourself from um uh, practicing goodness because there are x y z people who are not uh, in sync with this uh, flow uh now let me bring to uh your own experience and you have been involved actively with several uh, organizations which are uh, taking care of x y z needs uh the basic thing is how it makes you feel when you become instrumental or a medium uh, to assuage someone's suffering or to provide uh, that support which is uh, which is helpful in improving the quality of life for that particular group okay in my own case uh, i am affiliated with certain organizations uh, which are community based and for example india home uh, that is a center which serves the needy people senior citizens come there and uh, to improve the quality of life is the motto same thing with a uh, other association in the american senior citizen center of new york in both the cases i was uh, i was president and in, in india home the current president so what i see is that uh, what we are looking for is that uh, seniors uh, who have reached certain age they need uh, some sort of a guidance uh, whether it is a physically mentally psychological so that i tried to provide in the sense that i find out the appropriate speakers to motivate these people to provide the background or to give them a chance to show their talents because sometimes the talent is hidden in them so the social work to be done and to bring them into a group of the same type of people that will nourish them mentally and also it will improve their physical health also so uh, it is very very necessary that uh, all these factors to be considered what makes a senior citizen old people uh, fit and to have a quality of life so i think that is one aspect and other you didn't touch right now and maybe we will not get into details but you have also been involved with projects where uh, collectively you went uh, and served Uh, people who were hungry and uh, i think that also is a part of the extension of the way you perceive your religion to be now let me uh, bring another dimension which is uh, uh, not restricted to senior citizens but of course uh, from that point of view we just uh, referred it is the problem related to mental health now mental health issues or 
are also somewhere ingrained in the sense of misplaced priorities about what is going to make us <laughs> make us happy so with your own experience of uh, being involved with temples also uh, though personally i feel you are not very much into ritualistic aspect of uh, religion you may disagree i'm i'm, I'm kind of saying you appreciate it you participated yet i think you have something more subtle and bigger or rather different uh, dimension is there in your uh, approach uh, so talk to me about uh, the formal uh, system of worshiping the ultimate as well as uh, manav seva i madav seva as we say and that's what we are discussing how both of these two uh, find a uh, a uh, uh, overlap uh, space uh, for you okay first coming to the mental health uh, as we see that uh, throughout the world i think it is becoming more and more problematic nowadays because uh, people have uh, loneliness and that is the primary cause of uh, mental health uh, other than the genes and all that but uh, if these people find the right company and they are mentally active uh, and they will be postponing dementia alzheimer and depression and all that so to cure the mental health the best thing is to have the them come to a particular center and to get cured and to acclimatize with their peers now about uh, other thing that you raised that uh, how to uh, improve the quality of life that's what your question is so uh, actually my question was more personal for you in terms of your understanding about the formal ritualistic aspect of uh, following dharma and uh, being more active with uh, uh, serving other human beings yes uh, i think uh, i follow my dharma is uh, as far as possible to do the right thing and to have a right attitude without any bias uh, particularly for example uh, to have a uh, lack of any personal interest in anything that i suggest to somebody else whether it is beneficial to them that is the main criteria uh, i will give you a little story only uh, a friend of mine had a very big party uh, that was a dinner party about 40 50 people and one family of 20 25 couldn't come because of some emergency so a lot of food was there so what we was done was it was packed in the boxes and took to the colony where the homeless people were dying it was late in the evening of the sleeping time when when approached to that uh, center particular location a uh, lady old lady lying on a street they were all lying on the streets only with the chadar or the shawl on her face so went there and said maji would you like some food we brought she raised the chadar and said no beta i already ate it give to somebody else you see what a niskam bhavna she had otherwise she would have said okay keep some boxes it will be useful to me tomorrow but santosh is the main thing so when a person goes through this type of a situation and uh, uh, experiences that uh, even the beggar a uh, homeless is uh, having santosh in the life that is a great dharma and uh, something to learn from that absolutely so mukund ji uh, we learned a lot from you uh, today in this conversation and uh, if i sum in two three lines one aspect is that if you do the right thing that leads to a sense of satisfaction and doing the right thing that clarity and strength also is a part of what we refer to as dharma so dharma is equal to seva when we say it encompasses all aspects of our life including our relations our relations with the species the uh, uh, trees and the climate and of course people uh, who are not related to us when we serve them without expecting anything i think that is uh, a source of uh, inexplicable joy um, mukund you want to add something yes only thing that i have been seeing a beautiful picture of uh, swami vivekananda right behind you and that reminded me that uh, his quotation about the dharma and he said 
Hindu dharma is the quintessential for the national life. And uh, if hold it fast to it, to see that your country survives, or you'll be wiped out in three generations. Very true about the dharma that he concluded. And Mahatma Gandhi also said that a dharma is a big ocean teeming with pearl of our uh, pearls, priceless pearls. More you dive in, more you recover. So dharma, one has to follow the right thing, uh, having the right attitude, honesty, faithfulness, integrity, and honesty. Wonderful. Uh, so that truthfulness uh, helps us elevate uh, our level of consciousness also, in addition to being a source of liberation. So pranams uh, for elevating uh, our level of consciousness of this conversation, Mukunji, uh, thanking uh, him. And thanking all of you with uh, lots and lots of... And, and Ashokji, what you are doing on a video, that is itself a seva. And uh, you are doing that seva and that becomes your dharma. So, and you paid attention to all conversations, so we appreciate because that makes it a yagya. That is another uh, form of uh, dharma also. So, thank you very much once again. Namaste. Namaste. Okay.